going to have these mobile devices working if we cannot get signal to them. And here on this conference floor, uh, we've had the luck of being able to have the services of companies like Goodman Networks and others uh, that, that can help us uh, get more signal to our devices. So uh, join me, Frank Castillo. How are you, man? Nice to meet you. Great to see you. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys are up to at Goodman. So at Goodman Networks, we're actually uh, designing, building, and installing DAS for multiple facilities, including real estate locations. Now, when we talk about DAS, we're talking about distributed antenna systems. Correct. And what is new about those in 2014? I mean, it's a relatively to, to the industry new technology, but what is new right now? So what is new right now is we're seeing a, a large growth in what we call small cell technology, which is really a carrier-driven technology, which allows us to install smaller cell locations into small areas. Uh, helps increase capacity for, for the carriers, and it also allows us to, uh, to, to really ramp up and provide better coverage throughout larger facilities. And specifically, what's Goodman doing in that space? So we're working very closely with the wireless carriers to install their small cell solutions. Uh, our primary focus in the wireless space is still in DAS. DAS remains at, at focal point for us. Uh, larger facilities, main campuses, and of course, larger real estate venues would be still require mm -hmm. uh, DAS versus small cell. And what makes someone choose Goodman, say, over someone else who's in the same area? Sure, so what we're known for is we work very closely with our direct customers. So our customers will seek us out for help with their wireless strategy. So our primary goal is to sit down with our customers, our end users, uh, real estate folks, and try to figure out what their wireless strategy is, and then help uh, fit the technology with the customer. And that could be multi-carrier, that could be one carrier, there could be two carriers. Now the goal primarily for us is what is their wireless strategy and how can we help them? Mm -hmm. That may require Wi-Fi on top of DAS. And so our goal really is to work with them to understand what their strategy is, and then we'll work with the carriers to bring them into the solution. And what's one of the examples of where you've done this and really created a very, very integrated solution for someone? Sure. So, a uh, number of hospitals, a uh, number of major stadiums. Our, our, our focus was primarily with the customer to build their dream of what wireless would look like in their facility. And what we were able to do is to take that, uh, take that vision and design and develop a system that made sense for the customer and then bring in the carriers to help fill in the story, right? So ultimately, at the end of the day, our partnership is with our customers, but also with the wireless carriers, mm. who are also our partners. So let's say I own a property and I really want to employ more DAS solutions. What are some of the pitfalls I need to look out for? Well, the first thing that we see, or what we're seeing more and more now, is lead building certified. You, know, you, have, you have buildings that are very efficient. Uh, you're building a new facility and it is green. Chances are it's not going to have proper signal. Uh, anything that will reflect solar rays will reflect RF rays. Oh, wow. Right. Okay, that's really interesting. It is, it is. So what we try to do with our customers is really work with them in the planning phases of their facility, right? Building a DAS into your... So you're like, don't be, build a lead building. <laughs> well, you definitely want to build a lead building, okay. but just have us involved, right? So mm -hmm. we want to be in the, in, the, in the planning phase of your facility. Uh, what we tend to run across is facility goes up, windows go in, signal doesn't work, and now we're catching up or we're building a, a, a network after construction. So. Not to give away too many of your secrets, but what would you have told me to do if before I put in those windows? Well, so so what I would do in the planning stages of the development of your your low voltage package, I would work very closely with your architects, with your the folks who are actually building the facility, inspect in a DAS, and then of course price that into the overall electrical package. Our goal would be work with you during construction, implementing a system that you know you're going to need. It helps drive down the cost of the solution. Where, this is a strange question, but when we talk about signal, it seems to be, well, we're talking about something invisible. So it seems like there are probably some companies out there that uh, say they can help you get the most out of your signal, but may not have as deep or as knowledgeable a background. What's a way to stay away from making the wrong decision? Okay, so, so what I tell my customers is you want to work with a integrator that has a long history. Mm -hmm. So our company, we've been building DAS for close to 15 years. Uh, we've built over 10,000 solutions. Um, we're affiliated and partnered with all the major wireless carriers in the market. And that's important because you want to make sure that your integrator of choice is building a system that meets the requirements of the wireless carriers. One of the things that a lot of our customers don't know is that ultimately it's their DAS 
but it's also the carrier's wireless signal that has to traverse that DAS. So mm. if the system's not capable of supporting it, the carrier's not going to plug in, and that's where the danger lies for our customers. So working with someone who understands the carrier environment and understands what the carrier's requirements are is important to a successful deployment. Has there ever been a point where you guys were going into a building and troubleshooting it and it hit a moment that puzzled you? Uh, has there been any kind of moments where your eyes were opened about employing DAS? I, every environment's different. Yeah. It, every system we build is custom to the specific client, to the specific building, to the specific requirements of the carriers in that market. So are there situations where we walk into a building and we learn something? Absolutely, and that happens every day. Uh, what's amazing about our company is that we have so much history and so much experience that you know, our guys walk in the facility and really understand what it takes to deploy. And if we're wrong or incorrect or we didn't understand something about a building, we stand behind our solution. So we'll go back in and make sure that what isn't right is correct. What are some of the ways that you as a company make sure that everyone is able to share that institutional information and knowledge? I'm sorry, do you repeat the question? How are some of the ways that, so let's say one guy goes up, I know what's going on here. How do you as a company make sure that all of the technicians are able to share that sort of low, that, that, that knowledge that's been gathered over the last however many years? Sure, so, so what we do is we have a team of field engineers along with a team of design engineers. We also have a team of supervisors who then check the work of the field engineers, design engineers, and also um, the final product. So we make sure that our seasoned folks are supervising and watching everything that's, that's being uh, designed and implemented. And it really is leveraging our experience across the organization. And that's how we were able to uh, have such high quality standards and of course remain partners with all the major wireless carriers. Let's say I uh, am building a building, I've been smart enough to watch this video, and I go, wait, we're not putting another thing down, we're not making another design choice without calling Frank Destito at Goodman. What, what's the next step? Sure. So the next step would be really to sit down with us and understand what, where you're going as a, as a company, where you're going within that facility. So, so what are the goals? What are the goals of your clients or, or uh, your tenants? Uh, and, and once we understand where you're going, uh, we can then create a, a list of what is required. And typically it's floor plans, what does your facility look like, where are your tenant space, um, what does your infrastructure look like, data closets, IDFs, uh, do you have space for this type of equipment? Do you not? Uh, we're one of the, the, the important pieces here is that we're carrier agnostic. We're also OEM equipment agnostic. Mm. So we're able to make a choice for you that makes sense for your specific facility. Yeah, with, with the idea and the concept of is it scalable? Not only in that building, but also across your entire portfolio. What is the thing you're most excited about seeing here at the conference? Well, I would say I'm most excited about seeing um, just. The, the industry grow, uh, wireless technologies grow, and, and uh, you know just the, the everyone embracing wireless technologies along with the other technologies. You know, we're, we're seeing a lot of data demand. We're seeing a lot of um, a lot of different uh, skill sets and uh, energy efficiency and, and you know, how do you drive uh, efficiency within the building? And I think DAS fits in that because now we're able to make sure we can drive devices within that facility using cellular. Uh, so, so it really all fits together. Very cool. Frank, thank you so much right. for joining me today. Sure, thank you very much. Slide. Thank you so thank much. You. Frank DeStito from uh, Goodman Networks. If you're interested in uh, DAS technology, more signal, greater uh, efficiency, definitely check them out. Uh, it's a very exciting time.